judgment in the matter of Miller and others versus Ministry of Justice. Lord Carnworth will explain the decision of the court. Uh, the appellants are four judges, each of whom has held one or more appointments as fee-paid part-time judges, in some cases moving between part-time and full-time appointments. They claimed that contrary to the EU part-time workers' directive, they had been sub the subject of less favourable treatment compared to equivalent full-time judges by the failure to provide them with judicial pensions. Their right in principle to make such a claim was established by this court following a reference to the European Court of Justice in O'Brien by the Ministry of Justice 2013. The only issue in these appeals is whether their claims were out of time under Regulation 18 of the Implementing Domestic Regulations. That provides in short that the Employment Tribunal cannot consider a complaint unless presented before the end of three months beginning with the date of the less favourable treatment or detriment to which the complaint relates. Each of them lodged a claim more than three months after the end of a part-time appointment and therefore out of time if that is the relevant date, but within time if the relevant date is the date of retirement. The tribunal held that the former was the correct date and their claims were out of time. That conclusion was not disturbed on appeal. The Supreme Court now unanimously allows the appeals in a judgment given by myself. The court takes account of the nature of a judicial pension under the Judicial Pensions and Retirement Act 1993, which is not based on individual appointments, but on the composite term qualifying judicial office, which may include a number of different appointments. That feature makes it misleading to direct attention to the nature and timing of individual part-time appointments. An aggregate approach is appropriate. Regulation 5 makes clear that unfavorable treatment may relate to the terms of a contract or, quotes, any other detriment resulting from the, uh, any other detriment resulting from an act or failure to act by the employer. In the context of judicial pensions, a part-time judge may properly complain that during the period of service, the terms of office did not include proper provision for a future pension, but also at the point of retirement that there has been a failure to make a proper pension available. The former does not exclude the latter. A claim made to the tribunal within three months of the latter failure is within the period permitted under Regulation 8, and their claims were therefore in time and the appeals must be allowed. Thank you. The court will now adjourn.